Hello guys. I hope you and your family are staying in good health and doing extremely fine. I know that many of you would have gone through the changes in the new NEET SS 2021 bulletin, but I'm here to talk about the two major takeaways with regards to those changes. Previously, we know that in order for a candidate to crack NEET SS exam, he or she needs to concentrate on one particular subspeciality and along with the basic knowledge from other specialities, he would still be able to get through. But it's no longer going to be that way. You need to concentrate on each and every subspeciality as the total number of questions are 150 spread across two and a half hours and distributed equally across all subspecialities. This is what we have been discussing in the recent past as well. If you see my previous video in the Pripla Addresses channel, I would have stressed the importance of a general medicine candidate being competent on all the other major medicine related subspecialities. I know and I can understand that this is a kind of good news for some, but not so good news for some. But remember, change is the only thing that never changes and those who embrace and adapt these changes are the ones who are going to be highly successful. Second takeaway, the new changes put general medicine candidates in a kind of sweet spot, but not so sweet when it comes to other competitive feeder specialties. Uh, for example, MD pediatrics candidates who will still be eligible for most general medicine related uh, subspecialties like cardiology, critical care and endocrinology, for example, but would have to take the longer route and prepare for entire general medicine to get through and not by just concentrating on one particular subspeciality. Same applies for MD pathology candidates who are preparing for DM or DNB clinical hematology and for MD emergency medicine and anesthesiology candidates who are preparing for DM or DNB in critical care. Wish you all good luck.